Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that I didn't get to film before Thanksgiving like I hoped. I had two videos planned, but I got really sick and I could not film. And then the day before Thanksgiving, I was so busy and plus really weak. But anyway, um, I wanted to start a Christmas series um, sort of kind of thing on my channel but I don't want to do vlogmas because well I do but my life's not interesting enough and vlogging every day is just really hard so I remembered um I think last year and the year before Bethany Morta did something called countdown to Christmas where every so many days she did a video of just fun Christmas stuff she was doing and I kind of want to do the same thing I'm not trying to steal a name for her from her an idea from her but I just got inspiration from that and I'd like to call mine countdown to Christmas also Unless you guys have another name for it, then if so, leave me Six suggestions down below. Countdown to Christmas number one, and I wanted to do a haul. I've been doing a little bit of online shopping and just shopping in general um, in the store, and I wanted to share with you guys some of what I got. Um, this isn't really a winter haul or a fall haul, really, because I live in Florida, and winter and fall kind of mesh it's like they're winter and fall and spring and summer kind of mesh it's like we don't have a spring and we don't have a fall it's just summer and winter I mean it's like either extreme hot or extreme cold so um some of you may laugh at me thinking these are winter clothes and some of them aren't but I really like them and they were kind of cheap so I went ahead and bought them the first one I am super super right, excited let's for let me see here it is it's got polka dots on the front and the back and I am super, super happy I found this um, at Walmart, actually. Um, and it the reason I'm super happy is because I found one at H&M almost identical to this, except I think the polka dots were a little bit bigger, but basically it was just the same. And the one at H&M was $34, and I got the wrong size, and I couldn't send it back online because I missed the deadline to send it back. But I am so excited that I found this. And it was, where's the tag, where's the tag, where's the tag, where's the tag, there it is. It was $12, well, $13, $13, and I paid 34 for the one at H&M. So this is huge, this is a big difference for basically the identical sweater. Okay, and the next one also came from Walmart. And it is another sweater type cardigan thing. It looks like this. It's just your basic cardigan or sweater, or however you want to say it. And it's really, really soft and it's just simple gray. And this is what the sleeves look like. And then there's this one. And this is kind of, I didn't know this. But this is kind of a pullover in a way. Um, pullover sheer sort of hoodie type thing. And I didn't know it was sheer. Um, it didn't look that way on the website. And I got this from Target, by the way. Oh, oops. I'll insert the price for that other sweater down below. But this I got from Target, and it has this really, really pretty sort of flower crochet detail on it. I don't know if you can see that, but it is pretty sheer, and I didn't know that, so I'm going to have to find something to go underneath. But it does, which I really kind of like this, have a hood, which is really neat. And the next thing I got is also from Target, and this, I really love this. I bought this a little big because I wasn't sure about the way the bottom would fit based on the website, but I kind of regret doing that. Um, and for reference, my normal size is a 2X, and I bought a 3X um, just because I wasn't sure how the bottom would fit because it looked kind of banded on the website, if that makes any sense. But it turned out really not to be, at least not for me. Um, and I really like this. It's really, it's kind of got like a silky feel to it. And this is really cool. It, on the sleeves, it's got this, uh, 
crisscross tie sort of pattern, but they don't actually tie, but it looks like it. And it's really cool. And it's long sleeves. Um, and you could probably, what I'm probably going to do is either layer it with that um, polka dot cardigan or the gray cardigan. Um, and then I got this one. And this is one of my favorites. This, oh, that red shirt was from Target, by the way, if I didn't say that. Um, and then I got this one, um, and I bought it big because the bottom is definitely banded, and it's like this plum purple kind of color, and it come from Deb Shop. Um, if I can find it, I'll give you the, if I can find any of these, I'll give you the link. Um, all of my sizes are, like I said, generally 2X, 3X, depending on if the bottom area is banded because I, I need to have room to move being in my chair. But this is basically what it looks like. And I love, even though it is kind of banded at the bottom, I sort of, I really like the detail at the bottom, which is right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that or not, but this is what it looks like. And, um, sorry about that. My camera died. But hopefully it'll last through the rest of this video. Um, okay, when, when it died, I was showing you this shirt. And so I'm going to start over. This shirt I got from Walmart. I think it was like 15-ish. No more than 20. And I really like it because it's really soft. But I especially like it because of the stud details right here. Let me see. The stud details right here. Um, I particularly like that, but this shirt is, it doesn't look like it, but it's a little bit sheer, so, um, I would personally recommend a white tank top underneath or something like that, because see, you can kind of see your hand. Um, if that doesn't bother you, then you won't need one, but I'm the kind of person that does bother. I don't like showing It, has, it looks like a tumor, um, but it's not. And it has the white shirt with the brown long sleeves and like almost like a jacket type. And this is what the sleeves look like. It's really soft, but the sleeves are pretty thin. And I've worn it once before. I actually wore it in uh, the vlog Brittany and I done on Halloween. Um, if you haven't seen that, I'll link it down below so you can go see it. I wore it one of the um in one of the clips in that, and it's really it's like three quarter sleeves. And it's just enough to maybe break a little bit of the wind. Like I said, Florida weather is crazy. I got these so. from Forever 21. They are a 2X pair of ankle length navy blue leggings. Um, because um, I figured they would be easier for me to wear than jeans and a lot more comfortable. Um, and I really like the feel of these. It's almost like silk mixed with something else. But I can't quite describe it. I really like them though. Um, and then I got these, or this pair, from Walmart. And it's your standard pair of black leggings. And I know um, sometimes cotton fabrics like to shrink and the washer and dryer, so I bought a 3X. It'll probably be too big, but I would rather be safe than sorry. And, um, and these feel uh, kind of like the same material as that other one, not quite, but they're really soft and I can't wait to wear them. Last but not least, I and actually bought this last winter, um, but it kind of disappeared. And then I found it again, and it is another cardigan type sweater and it's kind of thin it's kind of about the same material as the other ones I actually bought this from Kmart last year when I didn't have a jacket it was pretty cold it's not really good at keeping no you know it'll keep you warm if it's a little breezy but I wouldn't recommend it if it's really cold um, which is why I got it because I didn't have my jacket with me the night we went Christmas shopping but I do like it and it adds a nice touch to a lot of outfits and here is what the um 
pattern on it looks like. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the last clothes item. I got a item. couple of makeup items. Um, two of them I ordered offline when I did. Um, I was looking for my usual makeup wipes, um, because I just like to clean my face with them in general, and they didn't have them, and I found the, and I usually get like the Garnier Fructis 50 wipes or something like that. Well, I found the East Plate brand, um, of those, and it's pretty much the same for a little bit cheaper, and I really like them. So, um, but if you, if you can recommend any good makeup wipes that are oil free, um, for acne foam skin, let me know. And I also got, and these are the two makeup items. I got this, uh, Revlon Color Stay Smoky Shadow Stick thing. I know these are kind of old, but one I had, I think I was allergic to. But I just wanted to try it just to see if it was that one. And I've used this a couple times and so far it's been pretty good. I'm practicing with it, um, my cat thinks I have a treat. No, I don't. I'm sorry, but I love you anyway. Um, anyway, I've been practicing with it a little bit. Um, eye makeup is really hard for me, and I've been trying different techniques that people have recommended. And I'm thinking about doing a video on that about which technique that I've tried works best for me, but I don't know yet. But this one is um, in 215 Smolder. That's what it's All right, called. The first and side of this is like a grayish silver color. And it, um, let me swatch it. Hold on. Let me swatch it. There we go. And this is what it looks like. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's really pretty. It's like a grayish silver. And then the second color, which is a crease color because it has a point. Um, is like a greenish kind of, I don't know how to describe it, but this is what it looks like. And there's a, there's the swatch of the two together. I really like it. And when you blend them together, they look really good. And the last thing I got all the total is, all together, is I know this been, it's been out for a while, but eyeliner is impossible for me. And then I heard about the NYX, the Curve Eyeliner. It's kind of weird shaped, I know. But I wanted to try it to see if it would make applying eyeliner easier. I haven't done it yet because, like I said, I've been kind of sick. I'm not really feeling up to it. But this is what the point looks like. Kind of looks like a felt tip marker. And then it applies really easily. I wish. And then this is what that looks like. That was all the stuff that I got. Um, I'm on a very limited income, so most of this stuff came from Walmart and um, Target and places like that, um, except for I think one or two things. But if I can find the links to them, I will definitely link them down below um, for you guys. Um, and let me know what you think of them. And if you have any video ideas, I want to try to do like this December countdown to Christmas, if that's the name that stays. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I know it's Tuesday now when you're watching this, but, um, I want to try to get one up, you know, start a regular routine of Monday, Wednesday, and Friday up through Christmas, um, and maybe a little bit after. It depends on what's going on. But, um, yeah, if you want the name Countdown to Christmas, let me know. If you can think of anything better, let me know too. I'm open to suggestions. Um, but right now I'm going to call it Countdown to Christmas until <laughs> I hear different. If you have any video ideas for Countdown to Christmas, let me know. Um, because I love hearing them and I'll try to incorporate them into the series. And yeah. So I'll see you guys Wednesday. Bye.